All right, guys, we are going to take a look at an FMS A1 Sky Raider. It's brand new. It's basically a ready-to-fly model. Um, <clears throat> it's the version 2 with four props, but it does not have the uh, three-axis stabilizer. Um, at least it did not when I got it. But I mounted one myself and I'd um, like to show you how I went about mounting the electronics in here. When I first got the plane, it was just kind of a jumbled mess of wires inside the canopy. Um, cleaned it up a bit and let me know what you think. But I got the, um, the gyro off of Newegg.com for, I think, 18 and a half bucks shipped or something like that. Um, if I pull out these foam pieces here, everything will look a little bit more clear. Basically have the foam in there just to keep pressure against both of the um, gyro and the speed controller. Um, so this right here is the P1 gyro. Tilt the plane a little bit. Maybe you'll be able to see that a little bit better. Uh, sorry, that's the speed controller. Um, what I did is I used some of the glue that came with the airplane. You have to put the, the rear stabilizer, glue that in place. Had some leftover glue and I found a nice spot on the side of the um, inside of the plane there where that fit in glued it in there um, and then the gyro um, anyways that gyro is supposed to sit flat um, I didn't find a good place to mount it so I mounted it sideways and I switched the um, connectors for the rudder and the elevator and then it acts the same as if it was sitting flat but anyways, again, I used that same glue that came with the airplane to glue that into the side of the uh, Sky Raider. And then I did need to cut a couple of pieces out of the canopy. Here's one right here, and then the other one on the other side here, just to give me a little clearance so that the canopy will still fit on the plane. And... and uh, you can see it, it holds nicely with that battery in there. I put a piece of tape on the back just to help pull that canopy off whenever I need to do so. You can see the battery. Um, oh, I don't have the battery in right now. But um, the battery goes up front here. Um, the receiver, I just kind of shoved it back into this cavity back here. Um, it's kind of tucked away and um, just was a, as good a place as any for it I guess um, and then all the servo wires are just kinda shoved into this little hole down here I just put these pieces of foam in here again to put some pressure on the side I'm not sure if that glue will continue to hold those up against the side or not but uh, it also helps to hold down the um, those servo wires as well um, you know the battery wire will get connected and get stuffed under there as well um, I know that they make the Sky Raider as well as some of those other 800 millimeter FMS models with the three axis stabilizer these days um, but if you happen to get a version 2 without it or even a version 1 um, you can accomplish the same thing. I haven't flown it yet. Uh, never haven't given it it its maiden flight, but um, hoping for good things. I probably should mention one other thing too. Um, when I said that I reversed the um, servo connectors for the elevator and rudder, I also had to reverse um, those connections from the. Um, not only the servos but from the gyro to the uh, the um, receiver 
And I also did end up having to, um, the way I have it positioned in there, um, I also needed to actually uh, reprogram the gyro to um, reverse the direction that it moves the elevator um, and, <clears throat> and the rudder, I believe. The reason for that is because it was moving the control surfaces in the wrong direction for those. So just make sure when you do mount one of those, uh, one of those gyros that it's always moving the control surface in the direction that, um, you know, the, the, that surface is moving. You always want to double check those every time you would put a gyro in a plane. All right, so now I've got the battery mounted in there, and I'm going to go ahead and connect it up and just show you that the um, that gyro does move those control surfaces for me when the plane um, kind of tilts around. Got the transmitter on. Let's see if I can get this battery connected with one hand while I hold the camera with the other. There we go, and you can see, see the gyro lighting up in there. Heard the tones. If I pick this up, you should be able to hear um, you know, the ailerons, the elevator, the rudder, adjusting for any movements of the plane. Hard Anyways, you get the idea um, that gyro is compensating for uh, movements of the plane.